Ah, Chevrolet. The American company that never disappoints. Almost never disappoints. And this is the Chevy CK1500. Fourth generation of this truck. This was a Chevy pickup truck that was made from 1988 to 2002. This truck is beautiful. I mean, look at that front. I mean, this is just one of the best. This is the best looking truck I ever made. Don't argue with me. They were also supposedly built like a rock. So I'm going to name this one Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I mean, these trucks, they did nothing wrong. This is the perfect pickup truck for the 80s and 90s or well 90s it could do it did everything you wanted it to do this truck is just amazing and i have seen multiple of these in person i have been in them i have used them they're just awesome and this is just like look at the front of that truck i mean just so boxy and juicy mm. These trucks were, this fourth generation of the Chevy CK was introduced in 1988 with its full-size Chevy's full-size pickup, otherwise known as the Chevy Silverado 1500. This was a amazing work truck, more oriented for, um, like, reliability and jobs and, like, working farm truck. I'm just going to read this or read part of it. For the 1988 full-size, Chevy pulled out all the stops to bring you quality and toughness like never before. Now Chevy provides you with the highest standard horsepower of any half-ton pickup, the highest standard payload capacity, the most extensive use of galvanized steel armor in Chevy history, built to last. With the highest degree of precision assembly we've, got, we've ever achieved. These Chevys were a beast. And whenever it says down there in the bottom right corner, nothing works like a Chevy truck, that is not a lie. So, my favorite year is probably 1992. It came in the full-size pickup, it came in the crew cab, a chassis cab, and it also came in the S10, which is Chevy's compact truck, which they used for basically everything until, few, eh, I don't know how long ago, but yeah. These trucks were made quite a bit. They were called CKs. Um, I'm not really 100% sure what they stand for, but... They shared the CK name for a while, at least, with GMC, so this, the trucks basically look the same. Just instead of the Chevy logo, it said GMC. And I do not support that. I know it's they're owned by the same company, and I know all that crap, but I just feel like GMC's copying Chevy. I do not care. I mean, when a Chevy made the first Suburban in 1935, GMC stinking quite a while later, I believe, stinking took the thing, made it exact same, and stole the name. I mean, come on. Be original. These vehicles were made for around, I think it was, what is that? Let me do my maths. Um, I'm not great at maths, okay? Like 14 years, I believe. This is the fourth generation of the C CK trucks. I'm pretty sure they were available in the 1500, I th think the 2500, and I believe the 3500. They were obviously 4x4. They had quite a few options. They were very advanced for the time. I just can't get over the front. I mean, look how look how clean it is. These trucks, I don't know. They're just, I love them. But back to what I was saying, these trucks, basically, they're a rock. They're a literal rock. They can, you can probably, you can do so much with these. You can just like, you can destroy them and they'll run. They're probably not quite a Toyota Hilux, but I would say they're close. And this is the 1992 model, which actually... Just became 30 years old in 2022, which is when I'm making this. So, happy birthday to this Chevy 1992 truck. These trucks were very popular. They were very popular among the farmer communities, work truck communities, as well as just people that wanted a nice, reliable, good-looking truck. With a nice, spacious interior, upgraded from the third gen, made it, it was larger, obviously. Where you could have either, you could either have a regular cab, you could have an extended cab, crew cab later in the model years. And I believe you could just get a chassis too. But yeah, this was a very popular truck among people like that. But aside from the looks, like aside from all the looks and how good they look and yeah, they look really good. Okay. How reliable were they? Now looks can be deceiving. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding. This is just a funny picture I found. I wanted to include it. Looks can be deceiving, but in this case, they're not. These amazing looking trucks can do basically anything. 
You could probably, heck, you could probably put a gasoline, you could probably put diesel in the gasoline engine, it would still work. Disclaimer. Do not, under any circumstances, put the wrong type of fuel in your vehicle. Use gasoline and gas engines and diesel and diesel engines. Failure to use correct fuel types could result in major damage to your engine and in your vehicle's overall health. Be smart about what you put in your tank. Says the full-size trucks are pretty tough, eh? <laughs> well, talk is cheap. Come on, show us how tough you are. Come on. I dare you. <laughs> the G-Men are tired of the cheap shots. Pound for pound, feature for feature, GM's full-size pickups are the toughest. These trucks... The, who, who, the, the engineers at GM and Chevy, they did everything right. From the looks, to the power, to the, the interior, to the exterior, to strengths. They, they just did it right. These trucks not only had lots of reliability, but they also had lots of power. They could basically do anything you threw at them. These trucks basically could carry, I know, it, they basically could carry at least twice or three times the load they were rated for. These trucks were very popular among people that had to haul stuff around. And, well, this power came from all of the Chevy, all of Chevy's vast, vast amount of engine selections. There were like, there was so many. You could get a Vortec V6, you could get small block V8s, big block V8s. You could get diesels in Afghanistan and Mexico. You could get straight sixes, which was interesting. But yeah, there were so many. And, and um, with the biggest engine, you could, it actually reached up to 290 horsepower, which is quite a lot for a pickup truck back then, which was impressive. There's also a 454 big block super sport or no yeah super sport or SS whatever version I believe in 1990 or 91 it was black and it had a larger engine it was more performance focused and not only that this truck had a very these trucks had nice interiors this is not it's like I don't know nice interiors they had many features such as radio air conditioning heating power steering lots of things just quality of life and it was just a nice, it's just a nice ride. And that is why I love these trucks. They did everything correctly. I mean, they're just the best. I mean, they look good. They sound good. They're reliable. They're tough. They're strong. And they just, yeah, they're good. And I mean, that'll really end it off for today. But um, if you guys want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe, like, share, Maybe leave a comment. Just hit that bell if you want to see more like this. This was just basically me talking about my favorite truck ever. Night the Generation 4 Chevy CK. And yeah, um, thanks for watching and um see you next time.